C-Corporation Double Taxation Problem 2. Chile, an individual who is in the 35% marginal bracket with a 15% tax rate on dividends, owns 100% of the stock of Pepper Inc. This year, Pepper generates $575,000 of taxable income and pays a $115,000 dividend to Chile. Compute Chile's tax on the dividend, assuming the special qualified dividend tax rate provided above applies to the dividend payment. This one's actually a super easy problem, especially after considering the other C corporation double taxation problem now continuing on. So the last one, you know, is a little bit, you had to consider things, how, how it's presented. This question is asking you to compute Chile's tax on the dividend, assuming that there's a special qualified dividend tax rate that applies to Chile, which you're told in the problem is a 15% special tax rate, right? Because Chile's ordinary rate is 35%. That's the normal ordinary rate for Chile's income, but there's a special rate on dividends of 15%. And the problem actually says that this year, Pepper generates $575,000 of taxable income and pays a $115,000 dividend. Now, the idea here is that if you're not told what kind of corporation Pepper is, we always assume it's a C corporation. So what I'm saying is that you never assume it's an S corporation unless you're told. You never assume it's a partnership unless you're told. We know Pepper Inc. is a corporation, so the default is that's a C corporation. Remember, C corporation has double taxation like, like this suggests. So all we have to do here, this one's very simple. We just take the $115,000 dividend, $115,000. We're going to multiply that by 15% which is the special dividend rate. We're not going to do 35%, 15%. So $115,000, which is the dividend amount that Chile receives, times 15% special rate. So dividend amount, 115000 times the special rate of 15%. And that gives us a tax amount of $17,250. And that's all we're solving for. That's, that's the answer, $17,250. Now, before we go on, the point of this problem is to show you that sometimes taxpayers get special rates on certain dividends. So yes, we have double taxation, but if there's a special rate on dividends, it might actually make it worth considering being a C corporation because yes, a partnership and S corporation have one level of tax. C corporation has double tax, which is evil and, you know, cue in the evil empire music. But the idea there is that if you can lessen the taxes by having a special rate like here in this situation, maybe it's not that bad. So it really depends on the facts and circumstances, especially if you can avoid the second level of tax of distributing that money. In this case, Pepper does generate 575,000 taxable income, distribute some of that. But if Pepper doesn't generate, doesn't um, distribute out any money, then you can pretty much avoid a second level of tax. Now, and you know, you're just subject to the tax $575,000. Now there are some special rules about accumulated earnings tax and things like that. You're going to learn about later where if you don't distribute out, you might be subject to them, but just keep that in mind when you're going through this. All right. So make sure you go through this problem. Keep this in mind when you're looking at C corporations and dividends.